Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for watching. So today is a very quick, simple, short video. Today's video is just about how to set up a temporary enclosure for very cheap. Um, I had a situation where I needed to get a tortoise into a temporary enclosure for about a day or two. So I'm gonna show you how quick, simple, and easy it can be. It took me about five minutes to set up. Um, just keep in mind when you watch this video, it wasn't a permanent enclosure, so you can make it a little bit nicer. You could put some trees, some things like that, like that in the enclosure. But today is just about simple solution for very cheap. So go ahead and watch and uh, see how I do it. All right, so this is the setup for the temporary enclosure I'm setting up for the Burmese Star. Um, I went ahead and bought at uh, PetSmart the uh, heating mat. So the four watt heating mat, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the enclosure there. I'm also, I bought the Repti basking spot lamp uh, bulb so I can put it in the bulb, in the, the lamp with a clamp lamp so I can clamp it on. So I also went to Home Depot and what I did was I bought this uh, concrete mixing tub and I have the Repti bark that was left over from last time. Right now it's on top of uh, my dog's uh, cage. Uh, I'll show you guys later, but we built this cage for him. But um, I pretty much filled it up with as much Repti bark as I got. Um, and I had that filled up halfway. I'm probably gonna throw a little bit of rocks on this side and then I'm gonna set it up. This is just a temporary enclosure because in pretty much the last two weeks, it has not stopped raining outside. And I currently have them as a temporary spot in the uh, chameleon, cage, in, in chameleon cage enclosure. And that's not really working out because it's constantly staying wet at all times. And as you know, he, he can get infection and stuff like that. He's only been there for a day right now. So I'm gonna fix this uh, and have this as a temporary solution right now. And uh, we're actually building a permanent cage for him uh, or her. It's gonna be outside. So I'm trying to build that this weekend, but I need to get the tortoise out of the outdoors for now because it's constantly staying wet and that's not good for him. Uh, so just wanna show you guys the progress on what I'm doing as a temporary solution. And it's also gonna be good because if there's any storms as far as hurricanes or any tropical storms that we're facing right now at this moment around here, um, this is a good spot where I can bring in tortoise and I can keep them inside dry and I can keep them out of the elements for a little bit and maybe a day or two. And obviously I can split it up so they won't um, be mixing different species one with the other. But this is a good way to actually have a location where I can bring them outside and get them out of the elements temporarily. But yeah, let me show you what it looks like when I finish up. All right, so so far this is what I have for the enclosure. I ran out of Repti Bark um, and it has some rocks in the back. I know they're not the biggest fan of rocks, but I'm just gonna temporarily use the rocks for now. Like I said, it's just a temporary enclosure, maybe about a day or two. Um, so I'm assuming that the tortoise will mainly stay to this side for now. Um, I did put the heat lamp here with the bulb. Um, it's uh, hanging off here the, of the actual concrete mixer tub itself. And I have the heating pad over here, which is actually pretty warm already for the most part. It's under the Repti bark, so it's not directly onto the tortoise. Um, this should work for now temporarily. Uh, let me go ahead and I'm gonna put in a log as well so it has a little spot to hide under and uh, bring in the tortoise. So here you guys can see the enclosure set up. It's very simple, very easy, um, and very cheap. So over here is the Burmese star. I'm gonna show you guys a little more detailed video on this uh, beautiful creature and show you and tell you all about it. But um, as you guys can see, this enclosure is very easy to make. Um, over here, you're gonna see that the, it goes into its hide and it hangs out there. Under the hide, I do have a heating mat. Um, as you can see, it's on that heating mat right now and just helps it out at night when I turn off the bulb to keep it warm. But yeah, very simple. All right, I hope you guys like that. Uh, please go ahead and leave any comments if you have any questions in regards to how I did it, what I purchased, what's in the, the, the enclosure. Um, stick around. I have a lot of things coming up in the next couple of videos and a couple of new creatures coming in. Um, so we'll, we'll see you guys. Please like, subscribe, and keep watching.